If the World T20 so far has been all about the big hit, England brought their campaign right back on track with the big, big run chase against South Africa last night. So big that it was the second highest run chase in the history of T20 cricket. But let's start from the top. South Africa playing their first match of the 2016 WT20 thought they were all set when they posted a massive 229 for 4 in their 20 overs with three half centuries from Amla, De Kock and Dumini. You'd think that would be enough, right? Well, apparently not. After watching his bowlers being smashed all around the park by Chris Gale, Joe Root ki Jamaican Atma Jaguti and he smashed a 44 ball 83 that got England's chase right at the doorstep of victory. They did their best to try and choke in the last over but they ultimately got home for a two-wicket victory. And of course, there was an afternoon game on Friday as well. New Zealand picking up their second victory of the tournament with an eight-run win over Australia. All that, of course, is all about Friday. Today is a new day. Today, it's all about India versus Pakistan in the men's World T20 and the women's WT20. Mithali Raj's team take on Pakistan at 3.30 p.m. at the Ferocia Kotla. And then MS Tony's Indian team take on Shahid Afridi's Pakistan at the Eden Gardens in Kolkata at 7.30 p.m. That's the big match of the week or maybe even the month. On the eve of the match, Wakar Yunus has said India, in fact, will be the team under pressure. Ashwin, though, not stepping off the gas and comparing the Indo-Pak rivalry to the Ashes. So, will Pakistan pull off in England and beat the favourites or will it just be another day in the office for MS Tony? Action starts at 7.30pm.